As a South African nurse, Lorata Mtunzi sometimes vaccinates others, but she says there's no way she'll take a COVID-19 shot, even though experts say it's safe. Hell no, we will not be taking this vaccine until there are clinical trials that assures healthcare workers that indeed this vaccine is safe. Data has shown an AstraZeneca vaccine, one million doses of which arrived in South Africa a week ago, offers minimal protection against mild to moderate infection by the dominant variant in the country. That's prompted the government to pause a rollout of the vaccine and it's only added to Mtunzi's scepticism. But experts say the AstraZeneca vaccine should still protect against severe disease and death from COVID-19. Professor Shabir Mahdi, a vaccinologist at the University of Witwatersrand who led South Africa's analysis of the AstraZeneca vaccine, says the shot still has a role to play in Africa and across the world. It doesn't make any sense to have a million doses of vaccine available to us, which are known to be safe, and not to start distributing it, at least for high-risk groups. But mistrust is still high. The Indaba Nurses Union, to which Mtunzi belongs, has advised its 17,000 members to boycott the vaccine. And a poll by the University of Johannesburg suggested a third of South Africans would refuse it. On the streets of Johannesburg, Thato Milete says she's one of them. No, I will not be taking the vaccine. I am not comfortable at all about it and I will not advise anyone to go for it unless you're brave enough, but for me, it's a no. Such concerns are not uncommon on a continent where big pharmaceutical companies have run dubious clinical trials in the past, resulting in deaths. In South Africa, trust in the government's handling of the pandemic has also deteriorated over perceived failures such as a shortage of protective equipment and allegations of corruption in COVID-19 relief contracts. Mm -hmm.